In this video, you will learn what we do to recommission the boat for the season. You will also join me as I explore the paradise island of Tahawata in the Marquesas. <laughs> Subscribe to Slow Boat Sailing so you can see our round the world trip and learn how you too can go on the long distance cruise of your dreams. Stay tuned all the way to the end so you can see the five recommissioning projects that were essential before we went on a long trip to Fatu Hiva. Day one of relaxation on Hannah Manoa Bay. I'm putting on the new mainsail today in Hannah Manoa Bay because I didn't have time to put it on in Hiva Oa. short. We did not get new sail slide attachments. We used the same sail slides that were used on the previous main sail. The new main worked great all season. broken right there completely broken so I just used started using the kitchen sink a few days ago once I got in the water so I could use a salt water tap and also I just got water this the same day uh, when I splashed so I didn't have any water in the water tanks and so I really didn't use the sink that much but I realized here in my second day on Tahuata that the sink drain has a hole in the pipe and I'm going to try to plug that with this uh, fiber fix. I, it's not a sponsor of this uh, channel or the podcast or anything, uh, which I found at Home Depot. See if that tape will uh, fix it. It's kind of like a, a resin type. So I opted against the fiber fix and, and went for the plain old duct tape. And the reason I did that was because I was worried I couldn't get the fiber fix off once I needed to re had the replacement part. So we'll try the duct tape for now. It's not, you know, it's an above the waterline part. It's and it's not under a lot of pressure. It's just uh, the sink drains are connected, and so if one part of the sink drain is uh, draining, the other one will also drain. And so uh, a break in one of them means a break in both of them. I can also close off the sink drain and uh, that will get rid of any sinking risk. There's a, a seacock for me to close off the sink drain. Here are my old and new batteries. The old one is to the right and the new one is to the left. I, the gas station in Atuona sells the uh, new batteries but you need to buy the terminals at one of the hardware stores in town to get into the hardware store i had to go to the grocery store and somebody let me in to the closed hardware store this is the accordion and door behind me which is the privacy for the quarter berth it was split in two because a battery the replacement battery that i had and didn't have time to install because we were launched so quickly it split the door and I think it's going to be an easy fix because uh, just the rubber joiners popped out and those are only attached by a couple staples and just slid in through the wood and I think that'll be easy to fix of the 27th of May we're going two miles south of Panamoena Bay to Vaitu. And this is just a nice place because it's in the lee of the wind and has almost no waves. And hopefully I'll get to see a festival uh, at the church, which they hold every time the cruise ship Aranui 5 visits this town, little village of uh, Vaitu and uh, visits the church.
Since I was so close, there was no point in putting up the sails for this quick motor. Daly is not very excited about what's going on here. We invite to uh, from the sea uh, by the, the long green building with white doors and a red roof. And that'll probably be the first thing you see as you approach the, the Bay of Vaitu in Tahuata in the Marquesas uh, as you're coming from the north. Tango at anchor in Tauhawata in Vayatu. I'm in the village of Vaitahu in Tahuata, and this is kind of the municipal grounds with the little monuments to all the explorers who have visited here. Obviously, uh, the explorers found uh, Tahuata a very favorable anchorage location because it is so much in the lee of the prevailing easterlies and uh, the bays are wide open, so it seems like a safe place to anchor. It appears to be the museum by the government offices. I found the church, but I was too late for the Aranui. It came a few days before I arrived. I chalked that up to bad internet, which prevented me from opening up the website for the Aranui 5 schedule. Free Soggy Paws guide says that this spigot is potable and uh, they've used it, so we're going to give it a try. I've got about 70 gallons in, but I don't have, uh, and the, the big tank is almost full, but it would be nice to fill the small tank, the bladder tank of 26 gallons. So I'm going to take a couple trips in my rollable dinghy uh, to get about 40 gallons because I can only carry about 20 gallons at a time because of the capacity of the Walker Bay, uh, which is uh, less than 400 pounds. It's a rocky landing on the bottom, so it's probably better to do this with a hard-sided thing. My first water fill-up was pretty good and non-eventful, but the second day there was a lot more swell and I swamped the dinghy uh, several times. And I found the landings in Vayatu in Tahawada, very difficult. The first time I landed on the beach and I got swamped several times trying to get off the beach because of the breakers. Fortunately, I only used the paddles on the Walker Bay and thus I didn't have to worry about a swamped engine like I did in my book, Slow Boat to the Bahamas. You can see the Walker Bay in the background. It, uh, Via to here, this dock is very unforgiving. Uh, the Walker Bay was swamped as I was trying to move it from one baller to the other after I filled water, and uh, I had to bail that out. Uh, the swell is something uh, fierce, even though the bay doesn't seem that fierce on the leeward side. The, the swell against these docks is pretty big, and it's pretty powerful. So you need a stern anchor for this dock. And that's what's holding off the Walker Bay at the moment. It's got a good stern anchor that bit. And uh, that's the preferred method. You can see the red stern anchor float in the back and that's what's holding it off the dock right now. So it's kind of like a med moor. 
pomplamousse is just a French word for grapefruit, but the pomplamousse and the Marquesas are giant green grapefruits that are very sweet. They're awesome, and it's definitely worth buying some from the locals who grow them on their trees. If there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, there were several pots of gold in Vayatu Tahawada. Placing the belts. The radiators seem to stop working last night and the belts seem loose, so I'm going to change both the water pump belt and the alternator belt. And also, since I'm changing the water pump belt, I'm going to change the impeller. Uh, I think some people would say that you should change your impeller uh, every time you let, uh, stop a layup of the boat because maybe it dries out. Um, you can see difference in shape between the, the new and the old belt uh, my experience has been if I just tighten the belts that they will break uh, when they loosen uh, instead I should just replace them so I don't have a breakage and an engine breakdown at sea the water pump belts last pretty long you can see the, the new and the old uh, but I'm gonna just replace them our Yanmar 3GM 30 F engine, it's easy to replace the impeller with the belts off. Impellers in, just need to put on the bolts. I've got the impeller and the impeller belt on back here then uh, I can put the alternator belt on in the front so you have to take off the alternator belt first then the impeller belt or the water pump belt then take out the water pump remove the impeller put back in the impeller put back uh, on the water pump belt and then put back the alternator belt. So if you're paying somebody to do this maintenance for you, you might as well have them do the impeller, the water pump belt, and the alternator belt all in one go. It's a little loose, time to tighten. Okay, all tightened down. Not that much give. The belts look a lot better now. The key thing though is to make sure that you open up the seacock after you're done installing the impeller otherwise you'll shred your brand new impeller just like I did and have to pick out all the parts and replace it thus doing the process all over again. That is one reason why you want to have many spare impellers on hand. Subscribe to Slow Boat Sailing so you can see the round the world trip. This episode was brought to you by viewers like you and Mantis Anchors and the Sail Timer Wind Instrument. Support Slow Boat Sailing on patreon.com slash slowboatsailing.